after the 30s. Yeah, we're kind of kid, kids of the 80s, you know, so my knowledge starts right about the Michael Douglas of the world. Yeah. What does my son call the Splash? That's dedication right there. <laughs> it's really hard to pinpoint uh, what kind of music influenced us because I think of so many different things. Um, we kind of we grew up listening to '80s pop, like Prince and Kate Bush and stuff like that. And then I guess around the time we formed the band, we were more into Dinosaur Jr. and uh, the sort of alternative rock scene. But then I think the pop thing kind of crept back in, and now it's just this weird amalgam of everything that we've ever been exposed to, I think. I can't top that. <laughs> <laughs> that was explanation enough. Yeah. Well, we were sort of trying to sort of... Remember the oh, yeah, that's true. True. We actually didn't celebrate our 20th um, anniversary because... It kind of uh, took us a little bit by surprise, I think. So there wasn't really an uh, occasion to do it. We were just we were we were recording a record, and it didn't really seem like a time to celebrate. Plus, um, I don't know. It, it can become a bit sort of retrospective, and I think we felt that the time was more about trying to look forward and trying to. Uh, to do this new, this new, new, this new record, and try to sort of make that seem as as fresh and exciting as we could. It's uh, it's funny because on our uh, not the previous record, but the one before, the record we made called "And the Glass and the Kites" started getting a lot of uh, sort of it was noticed for being progressive, and I think mostly because it, we, we made all the songs kind of glide into each other. That, that was the concept. So, it was, you know, concept album, progressive rock. But obviously, there's been some progressive rock influence. Uh, I guess especially early Genesis, like uh, my, uh, The Lamb Lies Down Broadway. But other than that, we haven't really listened a lot to progressive rock. Um, I think we're just curious to where we could take songs, you know. So I don't really... I don't really... Uh, I mean, I enjoy progressive rock, but it's not uh, something I follow that um, directly. Do you? No, I, I, I don't really know any new progressive bands. I uh, no, it, 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 it was like the old progressive bands were kind of cool. New progressive band tends to be very sort of super technical, and 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 we're all about melody, mm -hmm. and I think that's why we s sort of gravitated towards early Genesis because of that melodic uh, quality. Uh, yeah, it's not like super virtuoso uh, uh, the early Genesis. I mean, there is some, but it's not like, oh, look how many notes I can play. No. Uh, but uh, I, I quite, there's a Norwegian band called Jagged Jazzist. I, I, I wouldn't really call them progressive, but they're, they're definitely experimental. I, yeah. I really like them a lot. Yeah. When was the last time you played North America? The last time we played the U.S. was in 2000. I can't remember if it was 2009 or 2010, but it's been a while. Well, it's not entirely true. We played oh, right. the South by Southwest Festival. That counts. That was in March this year. Was that in the United States? Yes. Uh, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was really cool. Yeah. yeah. We we started uh, the recording process was was kind of. You know, it came after all the the more difficult stuff of of finding out what kind of songs we wanted to make and 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 the the pre production. Um, but uh, the writing uh, the writing uh, part of it was was very interesting because it happened in so many phases. We started out before Johan rejoined the band, and we kind of found ourselves very much in the same vein of music as we were on the last record and and we didn't really know how to change that and we we never want to make the same album twice we always want to sort of see find new horizons with it and um when michael beinhorn our producer came over his he said immediately he felt that that the sort of the core band feeling was was lacking and uh and it sounded more like you know like a, f a cloud of ideas kind of so he suggested we give Johan a call, and we'd actually talked about it before. Um, 
and uh, luckily he was up for it. So then when Johan rejoined all the material, which wasn't that, we didn't have that much material at that time, but the, the stuff we had changed a lot in direction. It became more sort of focused and driven. And then the, the rest happened uh, fairly fast after that. We always take a long time writing, though, so so it's not super fast, but kind of fast. Well, this time around, in order to make the songs uh, translate well uh, from record to a live situation, we, we made sure that they really sounded good in the room, uh, just with the five of us playing together. Um, it's something we've never really done. We always just thought let's make the record and worry about playing live later which is fine uh, but this time around we just wanted it to we wanted the music to have that human element of being played and and sounding like a band playing together and um, that I guess is 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 now we're kind of uh, reaping the benefits of that now uh, as 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 the songs you know the new songs really translate quite well to the to the stage who would you like to tour with if you could tour with any band you wanted to? That's, that's very difficult. Uh, I think uh, somewhere where we would fit in would probably be, I don't know, like uh, being playing a part in like a, a Pink Floyd show or something. We could have our own little section in the show, like where we're this, this odd sort of... Uh, like alter ego band and we come in and do our thing and they then continue the show that would be pretty cool yeah that sounds good to me yeah. let's do that yeah. the artwork for the album was made by M.M. Paris um, which is a, a, actually a duo of uh, art directors uh, located in Paris called uh, Mathias and Mikal and um, they uh, have done the, the artwork for the last three albums we've done and they're just they're really cool because when they make something it uh it's not necessarily uh you know it it might take you off guard a bit and you might not really sort of uh, know how you feel about it for a while which i love about it because it, you don't forget it you it kind of it it sticks with you whereas i feel like a lot of people just put you know like a picture of a tree or um, you know or not a beautiful girl or something like that it, you know, like something that's just very pleasing, but kind of maybe not, you know, not, not nothing that, that starts too many thoughts in your head. And, and uh, I think that M.M. Paris really, they put a lot of thought into it. There's a lot of layers going on in what they, they do uh, that you have to sort of delve into and discover, which I think is true of our music as well. So we're, we're a good team, I think, M.M. Paris and Mew. Yeah, the title plus minus came about i guess we were sort of focused on getting a very short title because we the last album we didn't have a very long title and so we thought let's do the opposite this time and it was hard to find it's always hard to find a title that that sort of summarizes everything you've spent so so much time on um which is partly why we we had we've had such long titles before but we wanted to have a short and precise title and it was actually uh Matthias from uh, from M.M. Paris, who, when he heard the, he heard some rough mixes to inspire them to to make the artwork, and he said that he felt like that it was very energizing. It was like a battery, and that made us think about the polar opposites and the the plus and the minus on a battery. And we thought that's a that was a good title because it's a very diverse album. We we kind of we didn't try and fit all the songs into one box. We just let every song be what it wanted to be so we ended up with a bunch of songs that were very different from each other and so in that way there's a lot of contrast on the album and uh, so plus minus se seemed good uh, better than yin and yang the pokemon character mew came out when we had already uh, found this band name so we're not related to it and for a long time it was kind of annoying because when you googled our name I guess that was before they invented all the meta tags, and you, you know, you just have a lot of uh, Pokemon. And uh, but he is the cool Pokemon. I mean, the, the, the pink. The most powerful Pokemon. Yeah, I don't know. Is is Mewtwo the more? Mewtwo. Mewtwo is probably more. I mean, he must be more powerful if he's the sequel. Right. A yeah. sequel character. Well, this tour is actually like the. Um, it's a like the real cross country American tour. Uh, so it takes us uh, up the West Coast cross the country with I don't know maybe five stops going 
going over the country and then down the east coast so it's um it's i don't know it's 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 a pretty extensive schedule yeah and then yeah and then after the states we have some more in europe and then mexico and asia and australia so it's it's a long tour there's this whole year is quite full on touring mm. which is great we enjoy it I, f i feel like people are enjoying it more than ever being on tour yeah it's true yeah we we like to incorporate visuals in our shows when when we've when we have the chance it's not always uh, logistically possible to bring it on tour for us but uh, we've had some very big shows big festival shows in europe and um with lots of projections and lights and and it's cool because i think our music is quite visual and and that you know that fits very well with a with a bigger production production but i also really enjoy the the smaller really small gigs that that are very intimate and where there's just like a couple of lights hanging and it's very raw you know it's it's cool so we kind of enjoy both things equally i think yeah i don't know uh yeah i don't know how you would feel about this you totally like being like uh, talking about it like that <laughs> it's <laughs> I uh we'll, we'll let yeah. Him have his privacy. Yeah, right. Cool. Thank you.